Hey there, this is Clay with ModernLove.Life and this is Relationship Inner Game. Now in this video I want to talk about how to get over a breakup. I know breakups can be extremely painful. They can be one of the worst emotional experiences that you might go through in your life, right up there next to you know your parents dying or uh, losing a loved one or going through some other sort of traumatic event. And I'm sorry that you're going through a breakup. And fortunately, it is something that many people actually do experience. It's part of loving, right? It's part of taking a chance and being in a relationship with somebody. But oftentimes, those relationships don't really work out the way that we want them to. So if you do want to get over a breakup, then there's actually a couple of things that you need to do. And there's kind of an emotional journey that you need to go on. And uh, I know that there's often advice out there that tells you that time heals all wounds or that the best way to forget about your ex is to go out on a date with like 10 other people or something like that. But that, in my experience, has not been the best advice out there. And it's not been the best advice for the people that I've coached and worked with over the years. What I've actually found is that following that sort of advice can actually either leave you stuck like if you're just letting time heal all of your wounds, you can end up waiting for years even. Or if you're grasping outside of yourself by trying to date more people or jump into a new relationship or something like that, it can leave you seeking validation from others. It can leave you uh, really turning over your own well-being to somebody else and, and really having to trust them to validate you, trusting them to determine what your self-worth is, which only sets you up for more heartbreak, more pain, more agony in the future. And so what you want to do is you want to actually really do the hard work of healing your emotions and healing your broken heart and moving on in an appropriate sort of way. There is one thing that you should be doing first and foremost, and that is cutting contact with your ex. It doesn't have to be forever, but at least during the initial stages of the breakup, you should be cutting contact with your ex because it creates the context for you to actually heal. Okay, It's going to be very difficult for you to heal if you're constantly in touch with your ex, if you're constantly spending time with your ex, if you're constantly you know, stalking your ex on Facebook and seeing who they're dating or, or who they're spending time with or who they're flirting with or, or all of these things and trying to you know, connect the dots on your own and make your own catastrophe predictions and worst case scenario uh, thoughts and all of that stuff. So cut contact with your ex at least for a period of time. Uh, there should be another video on this channel about the topic of the no contact rule for helping you um, heal from a breakup. So go check that out if that's something that you need to learn more about or if that's something that you've never heard of before. Beyond that, what I'd like you to also do is to work on getting over your ex. There's a certain sort of emotional spectrum that people generally go through when they are getting over their ex. On one extreme, you know, immediately after the breakup, you often go through this emotional meltdown stage. Then from there, you start to be in very heavily invested in what your ex is doing or who they're doing it with, right? You might stalk your ex on Facebook or something along those lines. From there, you kind of go through this sort of roller coaster of emotions of highs and lows and everything in between. And then after that, um, oftentimes people will start to mellow out a little bit, start to even out, start to start to smooth out their emotional experience, but they often get caught in this validation trap where they're stuck comparing maybe the new person that they're dating or the new person they're in a relationship with to their ex or to their previous relationship. And they get caught up in this story of, oh, this person's better than my ex or something like that. And there's nothing wrong with dating somebody who's better than your ex, but as long as that is the main way that you see them, then you're gonna be caught in the validation trap. And if you can get past that, finally you'll actually have the freedom and actually be emotionally free to really have a real substantial and meaningful connection with somebody else that's just about what the connection is. It's not about uh, you know, the past or it's not about your ex or it's not about some previous relationship or something like that. Additionally, you'll have to heal your broken heart. So getting over your ex is one thing, healing your broken heart is another thing. Now broken hearts can be what really make going through a breakup incredibly difficult. But there's a certain sort of process that you can go through to heal your broken heart as well too. And again, there's more information on this YouTube channel about all of this as well. But when it comes to healing your broken heart, there's a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, go ahead and mourn the loss of your relationship. Feel the pain, feel it fully. I know we might want to stuff it down to suppress it, but the more you feel it, the more you allow it to actually be something that you experience, the quicker you'll be able to actually let go of it rather than holding on to it for years and letting it fester and turn into resentment or bitterness or contempt. 
Uh, next, what I'd like you to do beyond that is to um, really honor the relationship that you had with your partner. Really honor what you got from it. Really honor what you loved about them, okay? Not so that you can get caught up in all of that, but so that you can just acknowledge that it was a wonderful thing that happened, the two of you coming together. Third, I want you to actually learn to let go of these painful emotions. There's a certain process of, 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 of noting the emotion, acknowledging it that it exists, knowing that just like all of your other emotions, it will eventually fade in time, and then just letting it go. Letting it go and watching it drift away like a cloud in the sky. Easier said than done, but with practice you can actually start to get better at this. Next, what I'd like you to do, what I'd recommend that you do, is for you to start turning off your BS machine. Now, your BS machine is sort of that, that inner critic in the back of your mind, that voice in the back of your mind that rushes in to tell you all of the worst things about yourself. Like, oh, you're, you're not lovable. Oh, they broke up with you because you're a loser and all of that stuff, right? That's your BS machine. And as long as that is there feeding you BS thoughts all day long, it's going to continue to agitate your broken heart. So what you need to do is you need to learn how to switch it off by just not having those thoughts at all. And the last thing that you need to do in order to heal the broken heart is to learn how to love yourself. Because as long as you're looking for someone else to love you, you'll always have this emptiness inside of you and you'll never be truly emotionally self-reliant. Now there's nothing wrong with having someone else love you or wanting someone else to love you, but as long as you're unable to actually love yourself, there's going to be this vacuum inside of you that's constantly hungry, constantly searching for more and more and more and more and more, even when you are in a relationship. Next, what I want you to do is after you've gone through all of that, draw a line in the sand and decide that this relationship that you had, this breakup that you're going through, it's going to be a wonderful growing experience. It's going to be one of the best experiences of your life. And I know that it might feel like a kick in the teeth right now, but if you really truly draw something from this breakup and not just see it as some crappy thing that happened and then go back out there and make the same dating mistakes, but if you actually learn something from it, learn what you want in a partner, learn what you don't want in a partner, learn how you need to be in order to have a successful relationship, learn how you need to stop being in order to have a successful relationship, learn something from it so that you don't repeat the same mistakes, so that you can actually gain something from this breakup and, and gain some lessons, some learning, some insights, something so that you can move forward into whatever your future might look like with some sort of great power, great strength, and great knowledge, okay? And then finally, when you are ready, when you're able to go through all of the things that I've talked about, that is when you should start dating other people. Not as a sort of band-aid to patch over your bullet hole wound in your chest or anything like that, but, but only when you are actually able to bring the best of yourself to the dating world. That is the only time that you should be able to date when you are fully emotionally available. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up in a rebound relationship or you're just gonna end up repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. And that's not something that I want for you. Now, of course, this video has just been a brief overview of what it takes to actually get over a breakup. But if you'd like to learn more, what I'd like you to do is head down below this video. If you're over on our website, modernlove.life, you can go ahead and click on a link below this video and that'll take, it, take you over to a page on our website where I will tell you more about what you need to do to get over your breakup. If on the other hand, you're watching this video over on YouTube, you can go ahead and click down in the description box below this video, and you'll be taken over to a website called Relationship Inner Game. Over on relationshipinnergame.com, I'll basically ask you to fill out a short questionnaire. It should only take about 30 seconds or so. I just need to know a little bit more about you. And once I know a little bit more about you and what you're going through and your breakup and all that stuff, I can send you some tips, advice, and strategies that will specifically help you to move forward from your breakup based off of what you told me. Um, again, that's over at relationshipinnergame.com. But once again, this has been Clay with ModernLove.Life. If you've liked this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like, please go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know what sorts of videos you'd like to see me make next. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope this video has helped you improve your relationship in her game. Talk to you in the next video.